Hey guys, it's your boy Clem, and I'm here with our new co-host, Jaden Cruz. Good morning, it's me, your new co-worker. Homecoming is coming up soon, and our theme this year is 60 years of orange and blue. Our spirit days are going to be Monday, Pajama Day, Tuesday, 60s and 70s, 50s Day, Wednesday is Athletes vs. Mathletes, Thursday is 90s vs. 2000s Movies, and Friday is Outrageous Orange and Blue. The game is on the 13th against Crawford, with the dance the next day from 7 to 11. Before the game, there will be a block party and the cul-de-sac. This week, there will be court nominations in the quad at lunch, and voting will be held next week. Tickets are on sale with Ms. Lulu in the financial office. Before you pick up a ticket, you need to get a dance contract signed, which can be found in the ASB room. On Thursdays, there will be a club rush, so make sure you bring money to support our favorite clubs. Did your birthday just pass? July, August, and September babies head to the student store for a free ice cream courtesy of ASB. If you still need a textbook, head to the library to pick them up. On Saturday, October 21st, Iman will be hosting free CPR and first aid training in the cafeteria from 8 to 4. And remember, chieftains, Fridays, we always wear orange and blue. Now bringing you our sports report, brought to you by Griffin Kateris. <laughs> hey Chieftains, if you're interested in joining a fall sport or need to get cleared for a winter sport, talk to Coach Diaz in room 311. And speaking of sports, let's talk to you about what our great CHS sports teams are up to this week. On Tuesday, girls tennis is a home match against Lincoln, so let's pack that one bench to support our Lady Chiefs. On Thursday, our tennis team keeps going against Crawford at 3.30. Also on Thursday, girls volleyball plays against San Diego in our home gym, so let's pass, set, and spike some support for our Chieftains. On Friday, we had a camera crew catch up with some of our favorite Chieftain joggers. Joggers? We are warriors. We just run three miles for no apparent reason. Like, no sane human being can even do that. So, we aren't regular joggers, we are warriors. My name is Skylar Fickett. I'm Charlie Jenkins. I'm Brandon Torres. And I'm Saul Gallegos. It's fun to compete against other people and to challenge yourself. It's also fun to like watch like my teammates get better because we score as a team. Cross country can be an individual sport to some people, but we think that it's a team sport because when we're running, we push each other. We push each other and we help each other keep pushing all the way to the finish line. And you, if you see someone dropping back or see someone struggling, you just want to keep motivating them to go faster and keep up the pace. And you're just overall, just a, it's not as much like how you do individually or your time individually, it's how the team does collectively. And also today during the race, my foot was kind of off. And Joya, she saw me and she noticed and she passed me. And that was, that, that's a good, that's a good technique to to use because she passed me and I saw her so she she pushed me to keep going so I kept going and I ended up in the top 15 and we both worked together so we could end, end it strong. It's really hard but it's very rewarding and just you feel better after you've run faster than you've ever gone before. Every time I race I see how much I improve and how much faster I am how much more capable I am mentally because it's a very mental sport as you have to consistently run for three miles and that could be very tire, well, very tiring on the mind as well as the body. I began as a freshman so um, I just wanted to try out new things and see what I would like and I've, I've enjoyed the sport ever since so that's why I continue running. Our Chieftains had quite the showing at Morley Field. With that, here's some of last week's highlights. Water Polo had a really big week, having played 13 games in seven days. The Chieftains beat rival La Jolla Country Day 18-3, with Eddie Hasanoiche scoring a game-high six goals. In another game on Thursday, Jake Kevill scored four goals as Claremont went on to beat Point Loma 9-8 in a nail-biter. Then, in the weekend East County Invitational, our Chiefs took home that ring, winning 11-10 on a buzzer beater by Eddie Hasanoiche. Overall, Claremont moved to 19-2 and is undefeated in league play. Quite the season for our water chieftains. Which naturally brings us to this week's Claremont MVP, Eddie Hassa, or as we better know him, my old friend, Edgar Long. Now, Eddie, 
a lot of preparation went into this week. How How is it different? Well, last week was a typical water polo week. You know, we had two games a week and we had practice every other day, but this week was an absolute slug match. We had 13 games in a very short amount of time. And in the end, what got us through it was our conditioning and our work preseason. That's impressive. Now you want to talk about some of the stuff you guys do preseason to get ready for the intense water polo season? Well, all of our teammates, we train year round. We train with our respective clubs. And especially in the start of the season, we do double day practices. We practice all week long and we just put in a lot of work every day at practice. And that's what gets us ready to play in these kind of games and these kind of tournaments. Now, I know there's a lot of contention on the water polo team about who's the real best player. K Jake Kevill and Nathan So obviously think they're the best. Now, would you like to comment on who the best player is? I see a prospect in Matthew Swanson, so I'd have to say he's up there in the running. Well, there you have it, Matthew Swanson. Now, that's all for today. And remember, everyone, it's a great day to be a Chieftain. Well, thanks for joining us today, and tune in next time to hear about the wonderful world of Claremont High. And don't forget, Chieftains, always keep it orange and blue.